everyone welcome to my channel if you don't know me it's me Elsa Nama Queen today I'm gonna show you how to make injera from beginning like 100% F injera we're using uh, ivory flour mezcal F ivory flour we're gonna use just that so get ready for this we need those starter cheers warm water and then mezcal this is ivory flour just that and we're not using any machine so we're gonna use our hand today so we're gonna add the dough starter this is the leftover from the previous jar so we're gonna add the dough starter and Add water. I already washed my hands, so don't worry. We're gonna make, we're gonna mix it and make the best dough. So let's make the dough. <laughs> I saw a lot of people add a lot of water on their dough, but no, that's not how I make it yet. We're gonna keep simple and easy. So this should be enough water. Now we have to just work on the dough. This is the first step. We're gonna have three different steps. So the first step is just to make the dough. We're gonna let it stay for three days. That is, today is, what is that? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we're gonna come up on Friday. And then we will do the second step. The second step, uh, we're gonna use hot water. And the third step, that's the final step we're gonna make in Jera. So let's put this one. I know a lot of you guys like to put add water on the top, but I'm not doing that. Just something like that. The weather is cold, so we're not gonna have like mold on the top because we're not in the summer. But if it's the weather is hot, it's gonna be weird and the smells really strong. But for now, we're in good season, I guess. So. That's all. That's the first step. So see you guys after three days. Welcome back to step two of making 100% F in Jera. We're back after three days, right? Yeah. So today we're gonna do the second step. That is, we're gonna. Oops, I forgot. To we're gonna uh, boil hot water and then mix it. So the first step of 
fermentation is done, now we're gonna go process the second step. So let's start it. Remember, we're using our hand just this is in case. All right. You guys can see our dough is ready for the next step. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of water on the top to rinse it in three days. for three days you can come back and the next day it's just one day is enough but I'm showing you for the three days salty we call salty so so I put cold water to smooth it out to smooth okay what's the word smooth I can't say it I can't say the word anyways we're gonna mix it until our butter became smooth. Okay. So now we're gonna add the hot water. In this case, I'm not gonna use my hand anymore because it's hot water. Okay. So I turned it off already. Water just boil hot water. Mix it, mix it, mix it. If you have machine it will really help you, the injera will be really really soft. If you use the machine, your injera will be soft, but today I'm gonna show you everything with my hand. I'm gonna add a little bit of cold water. I don't wanna put too much water. Okay, this is a little bit warm. So, just gonna put a little bit. Just gonna wash the top like this. Okay, so that's how it looks like. I don't want to keep adding water, so that's enough cold water. Okay, we're gonna let it stay overnight and we can come back and then make the injera. That's the final step, so yeah. I think that's it. So, just a little bit. Wait, let me reach. Let me reach. Hey, you're here to help me? You're gonna help mommy? Okay. Okay. Okay, don't come here. Okay, now we have to. <laughs> Yubi, uh, come here. Come here. Okay, stay here, okay? So that's the last step. Now we're gonna let it stay overnight and come back tomorrow and then I will show you the injera. Welcome back to the final step of making 100% deaf injera. 
So today is the last day. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I use on the last step. I have baking powder. This I use on just the pan to wipe off. So I put here, it's easy to use it. So we're gonna put that inside. Paper towel. Yes. Oh, let's try on this one. Okay, that's how it looks like. Now we're gonna remove the water from the top. Sometimes we put extra water. That's why we're gonna put to the side and then if we need it, we're gonna use back. Okay, that looks good. We need more water, so we're gonna put a little bit. That's good enough. So now we're ready. Still, it's not warm enough, but the injera looks good. So we're gonna wait a couple seconds and then try again. So one thing, when I take it out of my injera, I don't touch with my hand. So that's how I take it out. So we're gonna wait a little bit because it's not hot enough. Side by side, so you guys can see the 
the difference. We're just gonna link here so you guys can see side by side.